Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly clean an engine bay on my 11-year-old Toyota FJ Cruiser with 125,000 miles. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen just how filthy this vehicle was. And like the paint and the interior, I don't think the engine bay has ever been detailed. So I'm going to clean it today. On the McKees37 YouTube channel, you might have seen the video where I clean and detail the engine bay of the Viper-powered Ram SRT10. And that's a different method than what I'm going to showcase here with my Toyota. In the Ram video, I used our engine degreaser and the trim detailer, same two products I'm going to use here. But instead of using a garden hose to flush the residue, I used a spray bottle. That's a better method for special interest vehicles or exotics, you know, where they have more complicated engine bays. For this tried and true Toyota, which this 4 liter V6 has been around forever, and this is already an off-road equipped vehicle. So the way it's designed, it's a little more, uh, it's receptive to getting wet, which all new cars, the manufacturer knows the engine bay is gonna get wet. So getting wet is not the issue. It's flushing surfaces with water, a high volume of water from a garden hose. So I'm gonna show you that method today, along with a few tips and tricks. And the two products I'm gonna feature, number one is our engine degreaser, our engine degreaser, it's a surface safe formula. Instead of relying on high octane detergents, it instead relies on advanced chemistry. So it's formulated to break up and dissolve the greasy grime in this engine bay, which you'll see when you watch the video, how dirty it is. And in, instead of causing any harm to surrounding materials like the hoses, um, your rough cast um, valve covers, maybe you have an iron block, your rubber hoses, the electrical connectors, it doesn't cause any harm to those. It breaks up the grease and grime on contact, it rinses away cleanly, and most importantly, it doesn't smell bad, and surrounding materials like your paint, you don't have to worry about causing any harm as well, so long as you follow the directions and you practice common sense. After I clean the engine bay, I'm going to dry it with our Mini Car Dryer Pro, and then I'm going to beautify the plastic and the rubber hoses using trim detailer. Trim Detailer is an aerosol-based protectant spray that you can use on engine bays, tires, rubber trim, plastic trim, heck, you can even use it on your interior. It's quick and easy to coat the surfaces, providing protection and beautifying them. When you go online, you're gonna find a million different videos showcasing how to clean an engine bay. Everyone has their own tips and tricks. With me, I'm trying to keep this as absolute simple as possible. And some guys will run the engine for 10 or 15 minutes to warm it up before spraying the degreaser of choice on the surface. I'm not going to do that. I'm simply going to spray the engine degreaser on, let it dwell for a few minutes, and then agitate it with my desired brushes, which the brushes I use are the same brushes I use for cleaning wheels and tires. We have our big easy detail brush, which will get in all the nooks and crannies. This brush has uh, thousands of nylon and nylex bristles. They can form to all the different areas and this brush fits in all the tight spots. Plus, you can bend it to clean the really hard to reach areas. I'll also use our detail brush for cleaning the intricate surfaces where the fender meets the hood, um, in the more complicated areas like the Toyota badge and some of the hoses and lines. And then I'll use our short handle tire and wheel brush to clean the bigger areas. So no special brushes are required for cleaning your engine bay. What you have on hand for your wheel and tire detailing work perfectly but just the tip before you spray the engine degreaser all over the surface take your hose and wet your fenders that way if any engine degreaser gets on the paint you have extra dwell time before it's going to dry because this is a pretty strong formula and while it does rely on advanced chemistry you still want to practice common sense you don't want to let it dry on the paint i live in south florida even though it's about eight o'clock on a sunday morning it's gonna get really hot really fast, and I don't want anything drying on the fenders of my FJ Cruiser. So take the garden hose, wet them real quick. That's a simple method. And when I clean my engine bay, I do this before I actually wash the car because you're gonna get splatter all over the place. You're gonna get engine degreaser on surfaces. So do this before you wash the car. Don't do this after you wash the car. So you'll spray the engine degreaser on, let it sit for a few minutes, and then take your brushes, go ahead and agitate it real well, rinse it clean, 
Um, you can either let it air dry, perfectly fine, or what you can do is use something like the Mini Car Dryer Pro, or if you have our Twin Turbo Car Dryer, any of those, you can use those um, to blast out water out of any, any surfaces where it's dwelling, because the trick with cleaning the engine bay is you don't want to use a high volume of water, and you don't want water pooling up in areas where it's not really supposed to. With a lot of vehicles, you want to take extra precautionary measures to cover the air intake. Um, what I would recommend doing is joining a Facebook discuss discussion group for whatever vehicle you own. They have discussion groups for everything, whether you own an FJ Cruiser or you believe the earth is flat. There's a group for it. And just make a quick post or do some research, see what other people recommend, or if you come across a video like mine that features a vehicle with a similar engine, like this FJ Cruiser, this 4 liter V6 is found in several Toyotas, including the 4Runner. And this vehicle is off-road capable, and the air intake is actually, um, from the factory, it's like a cold air intake almost. It comes in through the fender, so there's really no chance that I'm going to get any water in and cause any hydro lock issues, because what you don't want to happen is to cause damage to your engine bay during the detailing process. So that'd be working backwards. So take a look online. Uh, me personally, I don't mess with cleaning engine bays and uh, European vehicles like Volvos and Audis and BMWs, they're just too complicated. This Toyota, it's tried and true. It should be relatively straightforward and easy. And I'll start it up and it'll run for a couple hundred thousand miles and it'll do what Toyotas do. So watch the video. You'll see as I um, insert all the different um, footage here of spraying the degreaser on and cleaning it. And then I'll dry it using our Mini Car Dryer Pro. I'll apply the trim detailer spray, which that's really fast and easy. That's going to protect and it's going to beautify the materials and it'll make it look brand spanking new. I'm Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. If you like videos like this, click subscribe, turn on your notifications, and more importantly, shop at McKees37.com. Once the video is over, check out the amazing before and after difference of the engine bay on my FJ Cruiser. Take care and God bless.